So the first step of the recovery process for the Ubiquiti Edge router is to turn it off. I use a power bar, it's the best way to do it. And then when you turn it on, we'll use a good old paper clip on the reset button. Press and hold. And you'll notice the LEDs will, I say, dance across the ports twice. And then after the second time, they will all flash like a disco. So there's one. You can see it going across. If you don't see it by now, then turn it off and put the paper clip back in. You'll see it again. There's number two. All right. And there it is. So now we're in recovery mode. All right. So it's Tony from the tech firm. I'm walking you through this edge router recovery process. And I just showed you how to do the old paper clip trip on the front, get the appropriate lights flashing and I want to talk about the TFTP server because this part does not seem to work in all the documentation. So the documentation they say plug into Ethernet port 0 and the default IP is 192.168.1.2020. Uh, it doesn't work. I even ran Wireshark on that port on the actual reset process. Never ever ever got that IP. So I went to plan B. I've given myself a static IP 192.168.1.123 for example and then I use good old TFTPD and I set up a DHCP server. So let me just show you that for just one second. So there's my DHCP settings on DHCP server settings on my laptop. I set up a pool and basically just assigned an IP. You don't need a gateway, you don't need a mask, you don't, need, you don't need DNS, you don't need anything really, just an IP. And that's all I did. So then when the actual um, router comes up in recovery mode it will send out a DHCP request and this is the IP it got so 1.124 if I look at it in Wireshark I will also see that it was assigned 124 which is good so now I know that I can literally go and ping 192.168.1.124 and there it is so now I can proceed with uh, trying to use TFTP to put the recovery image on the router, which I'll just show you in a minute. Now we're on to the TFTP step where we're going to get the, this is important, the signed recovery file from Ubiquity. And we're going to upload this to the actual router. So we've got the IP address of the server interface, which I will pick here. There it is. So I'm on the TFTP client tab on TFTPD, port 69, IP address of the actual host itself, and this is the file that I downloaded from Ubiquity. Leave everything else alone and just hit put, and then off it goes to the races. So I'm going to just uh, pause the video and show you what it looks like when we're done. Now when the TFTP put is done, in this case TFTPD pops up a little dialog box saying that the um, data was transferred and the time it took and no retransmissions and okay so it uh, actually worked. So now after I've FTP'd that file the uh, router has stopped doing its uh, disco flashing pattern and now it's actually going through the recovery process and rebooting and it's going to use that new image so we'll see how that works out. The router is finished booting. The light, the white light, is now solid. It's not blinking anymore. So I decided to ping the default IP 192.168.1.1. It worked. And now I'm going to log into it for the first time. As you can see, I get my good old issue. Big deal. We just click buy, go buy that. UBNT, we got UBNT, and agree, and then log in. And sure enough, we're into the router. I don't want the setup wizard. Now that we're in, we're going to try the good old uh, upgrade that's been failing that caused us to go down this road. Scroll all the way down under system. You'll see upgrade system image, upload a file. And there's the system image. It's going to do its little dance. 
Um, if it starts going slow, I'll just pause the video, but usually it goes fairly quickly. What happened before was it would upload the image file, and then at the end it would just uh, say upload failure or image failure. I can't remember the exact words. I've tried all the uh, shortcuts and solutions that Ubiquity has suggested uh, using SSH, using uh, WinSCP, trying to manually upload the image instead of using the GUI. I also have this or had this on a UISP system and we could not, see, can't upgrade the system. So we have an error upgrading, obviously that's what started all this. I have downloaded this image file several times. I know it's fine. There's just something wrong with it. So Ubiquity has asked me to RMA this router, but I've tried everything I can try. I thought I would give this uh, one last chance. I started up good old WinSCP and I've transferred the file to the home UBT, UBNT folder and I want to see if uh, maybe this will work this time. The next step is to SSH into the router. Obviously with the default UBNT account I haven't created any other accounts and I'm going to add system image blah 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 and it says system has already been upgraded and just needs a reboot so let's give that a try and see what happens with that just rebooted the router the suspense is killing me let's see if I can actually get into this thing and hopefully have the current version well the GUI is different so that's uh, encouraging let's see if this actually worked find out pretty quick and it worked oh my goodness so uh, in the background I've been fighting with this for it's well over a day and a half and I tried one last time today and it actually worked so woo, awesome good for me hope that helped you guys out have a good day